Starting out writing with a pen, you'll probably be using something like a ballpoint pen. They're cheap, mass produced, but hey, they get the job done. But maybe you write a lot and just want to treat yourself to something a little nicer. So you pick up a gel rollerball like this Pilot G2. It writes way smoother, requiring significantly less downward force to write, and has way better ergonomics over most ballpoint pens. But wait, what if I told you there is another? Of course, that would be fountain pens. I've got two of my favorite starter pens here, the Lamy Safari and then the Diplomat Magnum. Continuing on this train of thought, the next step would be a gold nib pen from a bespoke handmade maker. This would be the perfect point in the video for me to show you an example, if I had one. And of course, this would be a perfectly valid option. Today I have both Organic Studios Nitrogen as well as Diamine Ink Skull and Roses. And as part of an upcoming video I also added a bit of sparkle to them using Wearing Gulls Glitter Potions just for a bit of added chaos. Starting off with our most budget option I have some just regular copy paper. This isn't the heavyweight laser jet paper that I recommend sometimes. This is just the super cheap copy paper. And then our baseline for fountain pen friendly paper would be the Rhodia dot pad. And our papers that should give us better performance, we have the Maroman Crocus, which I picked from a number of different lists I found online for alternatives to our final option, which of course is the Tomoe River paper. So I've got two pens ready to go and do writing samples on each of these papers. The pen that has the blue accent to it has the nitrogen ink and the one with the pink accent will have the skull and roses. So we'll do a quick writing sample of all four of these papers. We'll have the budget ones on the left and the more premium options on the right. And then we'll do a closer look to see how these actually perform. Starting with the copy paper, we can see the glitter just fine in both of the inks. The nitrogen, we cannot see any of the sheen, and only the faintest of hints of the sheen around the edges on the skull and roses. The Rhodia dot pad is around the same, essentially nothing on the nitrogen, and just faint hints on the skull and roses. The Maroman Crocus art pad gives us our first hints of sheen on the nitrogen and has fairly consistent sheen across the board for the skull and roses. And finally, the Tomoe River with a fair amount of sheen on the nitrogen and the skull and roses becoming almost a red or purple ink, barely noticeable to be a blue ink under the right lighting conditions. If you would consider subscribing or if you'd like to watch more before deciding, the top video here is what YouTube thinks would be the next best video for you, and the bottom one is one I've picked out for you myself.